My name is Maria Prager and I represent the Swedish Biodiversity Data Infrastructure, which is a collaboration between 11 partner universities and research authorities and is also funded by the Swedish Research Council. Our platform is based mainly on GBIF and Living Atlases technology. So at the core of SBDI, we have what we call the BioAtlas, which is where we integrate a variety of biodiversity data types. Now, I'm part of a group focused on also mobilizing genetic biodiversity data, starting with metabarcoding data. And at the start of this project, we defined some key features that our system needed to be useful for mobi mobilizing metabarcoding data. And first, we wanted uh, to make sure that we store the actual processed sequences, so called amplicon sequence variants or ASVs, that underlie any species occurrence data. And we wanted to do this both for reproducibility, but also because we wanted to provide a search option uh, based on sequence alignment. And secondly, we also wanted users to be able to filter for uh, specific sequencing details, such as target genes or PCR primers. And thirdly, we wanted it to be possible to update the taxonomic annotation of the ASVs uh, as the reference databases that we use for species identification uh, continuously grow and improve. And uh, so uh, what were some of the challenges that we faced? Well, uh, initially, uh, we found that we lacked suitable Darwin core fields for important metadata, but uh, happily that was addressed by the launch of the DNA derived data extension, which we collaborated on. Uh, however, then we found uh, that the extension fields were not indexed in GBIF or in the Living Atlas platform, which meant that we could not freely access the ASV sequences for a set of Darwin core occurrences, for instance. And in the end, that led us to uh, build our own add-on module, which has its own data storage. So this is an overview of the resulting Python application, the ASV portal. Um, I will not go into any details here, but uh, just note that we feed data from the providers into our own Postgres database. And from this, uh, we then supply data to both GBIF and the Atlas, but also um, use the data in our own database uh, to re retrieve the sequences. We need to build the so-called BLAST database that is then used for sequence alignment search. I should say though uh, that in the future uh, we would much prefer if it was possible to access these data directly from the BioAtlas. Um, before I go on to demonstrate the ASV portal functionality, uh, I'd like to show how the ASV portal fits into our general flow of genetic data. So first, uh, a data provider receives their sequences uh, from a sequencing provider. And these four sequences and contextual data can then go into a sequence repository. And the same uh, raw data can then be processed or denoised. Uh, and uh, some of my colleagues at SPDI collaborate on a pipeline for doing just that, and it's called NFCore AmpliSec. And uh, it also provides a taxonomic annotation of the ASVs using various algorithms and reference databases. So a data provider can then opt for submitting data to our ASV portal 
and while we will store the original annotation, we will also use AmpliSec to perform a standard re-annotation uh, of the data. And this annotation can also be updated uh, when new versions of the reference databases are released. So we then expose Darwin Core occurrence views to the IPT and Data are then published both to GBIF and to the BioAtlas. And once that is done, data are then searchable via our ASV portal. And we also provide download of sequences, etc. So I'll now show you some screen dumps from the ASV portal in action. And in the start page, you can see that there is an option to submit your metabarcoding dataset to the ASV database and SPDI BioAtlas. And that will just take you to a page where I summarized the data flow I just illustrated. And I also provide a data template, which is basically Darwin Core format, but allows you to submit your data as ASV tables. Uh, going back to the start page, we also provide uh, two search options and we'll have a quick look at searching for ASVs and BioAtlas records using the basic local alignment search tool, BLAST. So here you can paste in your sequences that you want to align against sequences in our BLAST database. You can set some basic parameters for this alignment and you can then click BLAST, which will bring up a result table where you can select records and you can then either download these alignment results directly or you can proceed to uh, the BioAtlas to view associated occurrence records. So clicking there will uh, take you to the BioAtlas. And a first thing to note here is that you can see that the link between the ASVs in our database and occurrences in the BioAtlas is based on the taxon ID field, which in turn is derived as an MD5 checksum of the actual ASV or DNA sequence. So if you click one of the records, you can see, for instance, that this occurrence is based on DNA sequence reads. You can see the original taxonomy given by the data provider. And you also get a link to the corresponding sequencing experiment and runs reported to the ENA. However, as I said before, the DNA extension fields are currently not indexed in the BioAtlas. So I had to resort to adding these as a JSON object in the dynamic properties field for now. If we then go back to the ASV portal, there is another option to search for ASVs and BioAtlas records using filters on sequencing details and taxonomy. And here you can first select from available target genes and primers and so on. And you can also uh, filter for specific taxa. And if you then click filter, this will bring up a similar result table and options uh, as I just showed you for the BLAST search. Finally, I'm uh, currently working on adding route for downloading Darwin Core archives from the IPT. And this is because, as I noted before, uh, extension fields are not indexed. And this means that they are not available from record downloads in the BioAtlas. They are, however, available when you download source archives from the IPT. And we thought it would be useful to provide a batch download of selected archives here. Right, so that was all I had to say today, uh, except that I would like to thank contributing colleagues at SPDI, as well as uh, consultants at NBIS. Thank you.